something that I've noticed in this trolley bus game is people don't know how to set up their trolley buses. So I'm gonna try and help out here. Uh, just give me. Oh, I can't do service. Can't do service hours real. I don't know why I said that. Why I mean. Okay, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna turn up my microphone just a little bit here, so you should be able to hear me better. Uh, settings. I wish it weren't raining for once. So you'll sp you'll pick your trolley bus, uh, ZIU nine. So I'm gonna spawn at hard base just to quickly show you what the area would look like at hard base. But for now, we'll spawn at the main island. So I will just go back to the menu after this. So in hard base, you'll spawn right next to this big block thing, and then your trolley bus will be. Ah, uh, people get confused which their trolley bus is. So I'd make it. Uh, you you should be able to tell the difference from the other ones. But here's where you're gonna get your toolbox and your uh, destination board and stuff. Here, but let me uh, go ahead and head back to the main menu here. And then back to the main island. Is the main island is the main island is gonna be more confusing for all of you. Drive. So yeah, but anyways, when custom when so you're gonna want to make a. Um, I would disable advertisements because they're really annoying. Uh, make your flag something unique. Don't make them like both the same flag. You can make them anything you want. Like I'm gonna actually change mine to the left flag is gonna be Finland, and then I'm gonna have the right flag as. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find it here. There we are, Norway. Uh, you understand where to spawn at both locations here and how to work with that. I'll turn on my microphone a little bit. I can't hear myself, but I hear I see that I'm pretty loud. So now you're gonna look for your trolley bus. I made mine a specific color, which is that color. So I'm over here. But another way, if you have your random livery on, is uh, walk up to any trolley bus and just like look at the flags, see what, and if they have the flags that you set, then walk up so you see how so mine has. Norway's flag, and mine also has Finland's flag. Like, okay, that's perfect. Now, another thing you're gonna want to check is for is uh, you're gonna want to see if these doors say no pressure. If they say no pressure, and you click on them, and they open, and you can walk through the bus like this, then it's probably your bus. Now we're gonna set down the toolbox here, which I forgot to tell you. You have to grab the toolbox from in there, from the desk. Uh, anyways, from the tool kit, uh, here, uh, actually we don't need to work with that yet, just set it down, and then climb up here, set the hatch out here, and then we'll just look for, um, we'll look for, our, at our pull inserts here, make sure, now if there's anything below 40, uh, mine aren't below 40, but I'll change them anyways, so I'd recommend going in here, I'll have you grab the pull head insert, and then you'll climb up here with. I'm gonna want to grab the pull head wrench, was what I meant to say, and then climb up here. Okay. Now, um, once up here, you're just gonna want to. You don't. So don't left click, but you're gonna want to right click, as that will take both the pull head inserts out. You'll take them out. Then you'll put away the wrench and these pull head inserts. Then you'll take two pull head inserts from the kit. Climb back. Ugh. I cannot jump. There we go. Okay. Climb back up here. Then you're going to want to hold V, which I forgot to explain. Hold V to place stuff down. Uh, Click there. And then those are all set up now. Now those you don't have to worry about for a little bit now. No, anyways. uh, I'm going to recommend you do this now. Uh, Head into your cab. And then hold V and place your reverse wrench right in this box here. And then leave that alone. Alright. Anyways, now you're going to want to take your poles. You'll grab them like this. And then you'll... So you'll run them over here. You might want to zoom out a little bit for your camera. And then you'll look for these poles up here. Now you'll press E to go up and Q to go down. 
and you hold E until these uh, go up onto the poles. All right, that's good. Now this one's a bit uh, weird. You have to go around this, and then you have to go the, like this. Oh, my poles are swinging around a bit right now. Okay, come on, stop swinging. Okay, now just try and get it as accurate as possible. It's going to be easier if you're in third person. Okay, there you go. Now both of your poles are attached. You should be able to see like that. It'll kind of look like that. Now, anyway, something I'm going to recommend, but... Uh, I don't think it's required. I think it's just helps for your poles not to fly off and derail. But anyways, um, you'll, uh, you'll come back here and then you'll hit your right mouse button to prepare these. You'll set them to prepared. So then once, so then if you do end up derailing, these will come down. So it'll be easier for you to put them back on the rails. All right. Now you can go ahead and put this away. And I'll go ahead and seal off our doors here as... Oh, wait, no, we're not done. We're not done yet outside, So, but I'm not going to have us run outside yet. Okay, so you're going to want to grab your clock from out of here. Now, this isn't this isn't required. It's just recommended. Uh, and I said it's probably somewhere there. Is you're going to want to see what time it is in-game just to make sure that you uh, follow your schedule. Which uh, we'll, we'll come back upon later. And now the toolkit. You are now done with the toolkit. But you're going to want to leave it back here just in case something happens. Uh, some people put it up here. But honestly I think it gets in the way. So I leave it back there. Now in here you're going to want to make sure these four breakers are flicked this way. They're facing this way right here. And then you're going to want to flick this main power breaker. So that's facing outside towards the window. Now, once all that's done, uh, I'm going to sit down, but you don't have to. I'm just making it easier. So you're going to want to click all these on. Uh, this will be important later, so I won't. I will click it, actually. Now you're going to want to start flicking all your stuff on. Now, this buzzer, uh, if it buzzes. So here, hold on. Let me turn this on. The battery on. So... If this buzzes, here, let me turn off the compressor. No, wrong thing. Let me turn off the compressor. Okay. If this thing buzzes, it means that uh, for any reason, these are not attached. Which means they must have derailed at some point. You'll have to go back out and uh, put them back on the rail. No, anyways, uh, I'll turn on the heaters. Uh, you don't have to have the heaters on. They're just recommended for realism. And there we go. Uh, turn headlights on all, all the way. Toggle our power steering. That's going to be the most important part here. Power steering. Okay. Now now that all that's on, uh, just take a chill pill. You're going to want to leave your bus. Just leave it like that for a little bit. Yeah, you're going to want to walk all the way back over here. It'll take me a second. Click <coughs> for the equipment. Click that. Grab our destination board. You can keep this. I I keep it because it uh, doesn't take up as much time. But you don't have to keep it. It's not required. It's just so then you can get going quicker. Anyways, uh, I set this down in the back as well, probably about back here. Uh, now you're going to want to grab a timetable with game time. Uh, I have no clue which route we're on right now, so here, hold on. Let me see if I can find a map for that. Okay, so I did find a map. I'll link this in the description because this is going to be very important here. Now, this is where we are right here. Hold on. I can't zoom in on it. I'm, try I'm trying to. So, we're going to be probably following. I have no clue where we just went. Okay. Uh. Now, this route is. Okay. Route stops, route lines. So, following this route, you're going to want to probably go. I'm going to take this way, go around, and then go around, and then probably follow this. 
is that's that uh, this is the those are the roads that have cables. If I really really want to, then I can. Uh. Yes. Yeah, so we'll follow. We'll follow this path. This way. Through Industrial Street, take that route, and then we'll go into Hard Base into New Green Village. Around back. And then back to the depot. <clears throat> okay, now that I've got the route figure out, uh, I know that it'll be taking route 10. <clears throat> so I'll grab a small destination board, route 10, hold, open that lid right there, press and hold V, click, and boom. I don't know why it made me grab the pole. Close that lid, grab a normal destination board for route 10, run up to the front, drop it in here. Close the lid, close the door again by clicking on it. Uh, now is a good time to turn on your compressor here. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. It'll make it a bit louder in here. Still. Uh, game time, route 10. Now this times table is going to be, it was a bit confusing, but you'll place it right there. And now you're all done with that. So now you can climb up here. Uh, actually, let me get up. So this box right here, you're just going to want to click forward. This, if you left click, you'll go forward. If you right click, it'll set you back in a neutral from that. But if you right click again, you'll go into reverse. But if you're here, if you right click, you'll go to reverse. But we need to be in. Uh, we're going we're gonna to need to be going uh, forward in a drive. So hold on. These control the doors. We currently don't have much. Oh, okay, never mind. We do have compressor power, so those power the doors. These are unused, so you don't have to use those. Uh, now something I didn't notice is uh, you have to kind of like come right here to select the route, and it'll say this line. Yeah. So select route six will be the play button. Uh, to skip to a different route, it'll be at the skip, so you'll skip. We're going to route 10, so we're at route 10, we'll hit play. Alright, so we're, we'll be starting on trolley bus street here, which uh, I'll have to find here. So trolley bus street is... We're following our route path. Our route path is purple. I have not been to Rocky Island yet, so. I'm looking for Trolley Bus Street. Forest. What's that? I can't see it. So we are on Trolley Bus Street, I think. Oh no, Trolley Bus Street is this stop right here. So we are not in service until we go all the way onto here. We'll go around. The lighthouse going on here. We'll end up at Trolley Bus Street. We'll start there. It'll take us to Green Village, I think. Okay. Parking brake off. And if you did everything right, then you should start going. Now, if you push E, that's going to switch your tracks, which will also switch this if you want to stay in first person. So, control circuit. So, let's say right here. We're merging out of the tracks here, so we are going left. Which means this will need to point that way. It already is pointing this way, so we can just keep driving. Be careful, though. Oh, this turn always sucks right here. Yep, I hit... Okay, I hit it. Now, I might need to switch my trolley bus tracks here while I, when I reverse...
Okay, hold on. I don't think the trolley bus is reversing. Hold on, I think we're stuck. Hold on. Yeah, E still does change the track, so be careful with that. We're going the other way, so... Sorry, I'm having a bit of issues here. So right here, when we're leaving, you're not going to want to turn, so uh, just keep yourself accelerated. Press E. Just to make sure that you're going this way. Alright, now you can uh, hit E again. To get your trolley bus power back on. Now, okay. I guess we're going this way. I forgot to hit E. So I guess we'll be going uh, this way now. So we'll follow this road right here. Uh, until we get to trolley bus street. So now I'm going to pull up a map. That's how to get, that's how to get the bus started. And, uh, yeah. So anyways... Here, let me stop here. So once you have everything started, when you stop at a stop, you'll pull up your, you'll stop, pull up your handbrake, you'll open your three doors, and you'll hit play. I am not at the stop currently, so I'm not going to hit play. But then you'll wait for a little bit. Passengers might not board, it might depend on... Uh, it, it all depends really. Then once you're done at the stop, you close your doors, pull up your hand, pull your handbrake back down, and then you'll proceed. All right, but I really hope this helps all of you. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial on the trolley bus game, and I'll see y'all soon. All right, see ya.